This week looks like a busy week for everybody. It looks pretty cool though, so if you want to find out what's coming up for you this week, please keep watching. Hi and welcome, my name's Fran or Francisca, um, I'm running a little bit late with this video, things got a bit busy with repairing stuff on the vehicle, so yeah, but it's still for this week, it's still only Sunday, so <laughs> I thought I'd carry on anyway. So anyway, yeah, things are looking really, really quite busy and quite active and there's a lot going on, but in generally in a positive direction. So. If you haven't already, please pick row one, two, or three, and I will carry on with the reading. So for, for row ones, if you've picked row one, we start the week with the Ace of Swords. So that's basically saying clarity, using your intellect, what you know, you know, you're feeling sharp, you're feeling onto it. And you're going to make some good decisions early in the week. You know what you want. You know what you're trying to achieve. Have faith in that. Go forward with it. It's going to go well. So yeah, have absolute faith in your decisions early in the week. You're in a really good place with that. The decisions and choices you're making now are going to be really positive for your future. So don't don't try and hold back too much. You know what you're doing. Have faith in that. So midweek, Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is saying you're looking at the future, where you want to go with it. You've got some plans. You're making plans, and they're good, solid plans. So don't doubt them. The message really is don't doubt what you feel you want to create in your future because you're very, very capable of it. So <clears throat> there's absolutely no room for self-doubt right now. Have faith. The message for row ones is so strong with that. What you've chosen to do, what you're putting your energy into now is divinely guided. You're meant to be doing it. It's on the right track. So have faith and keep moving forward. It's very, very positive. <clears throat> so by <clears throat> Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we've got the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is saying you're getting the work done. You're moving towards your goals. It's a busy weekend, but very, very positive. And there are also people around you who can advise you, help you, guide you, even give you a practical hand. So don't <clears throat> be afraid to ask others to give you a hand. This is looking at teamwork, at doing things together, at working together for a common goal and that things are going to go well for you. So you're focused, you're doing well. The weekend looks busy, it looks productive. So if you've got a project on at home that you want to get done, this weekend is the time to really, really do it and get on with it. And yeah, you'll make a lot of progress and you don't have to do it all alone. So yeah, get some people in on the act. <laughs> it's going to be more fun. You're going to enjoy it more. It's going to work better and yeah, just work really, really well for you. So this week looks amazing. It looks really, really good for all your goals, dreams, ideas, decisions, choices you're making. You're meant to be doing what you're doing, okay? Keep moving forwards. Keep doing what you want to and you're on the right path. So this is quite a creative influence. So I feel it's looking at something practical you want to get done or a plan you have for your future, for your career, your business, your lifestyle, anything like that. You're heading in a good direction and this week is full steam ahead for you. So keep keep going, keep moving forwards. Don't give up, don't doubt yourself. You're actually on the right path. So a very, very powerful message to keep believing that, knowing that and keep moving forward. So for um, if you've chosen row two, we start the week with a really amazing influence too. We've got the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is really saying victory. Whatever you're doing early in the week, you're going to get it done. It's going to work. It's going to work out for you. You're going to succeed. It's a very, very successful influence saying if you've got something you've been putting off or wondering about, Monday and Tuesday are a really good time to just get stuck in, get it done, because you're going to make so much progress, you're going to win, <laughs> you're going to come out on top, 
and you're going to feel really really good afterwards because yeah you can tick that one off so uh, influence of victory success and feeling good about what you've achieved so very very powerful influence for Monday and Tuesday enjoy it it's it's awesome Wednesday and Thursday you've got the three well the Empress that's the third major arcana card and that is saying basically a bit of nurturing it's a gentle time creative time flowy time you're flowing with the feminine energies and that's for males and females you know it's a good time to be creative also to self nurture and nurture those around you it's just a really really loving influence for midweek so things are in a harmonious place for you you're feeling content you're feeling cared for and you're caring for yourself and you're also feeling like things are flowing in the right direction for you. It's a good time to take a breather, do something nice for yourself, whatever makes you feel good. It'll give you a boost, um, whether that's being creative or gardening or having a bubble bath or writing or whatever makes you feel really, really good. Um, midweek is the time to do that it's not a time to charge out there and conquer the world it's a time to just take care of you take care of those around you and to regenerate to nourish yourself your soul it's not so much on a physical level it's more your being your emotional being your spiritual being it just needs that little bit of peace and quiet and harmony and to regenerate a little bit midweek so both Friday, Saturday and Sunday we've got the Knight of Swords which is your full steam ahead again, busy weekend, <laughs> you're going forwards, you're going towards whatever it is you want so it's a great time to get out there and have an adventure, go for a trip, do something, work off some energy, um, go for a hike or if you've got a really big project you've been wanting to tackle, the weekend is a fantastic time to do that because you're full of energy, you're full of focus, you're feeling strong, you're feeling connected and on track and on the right path. So the weekend is a fantastic time to really get that done. So yeah, really, really full on weekend, but in a very, very positive way. You're not going to feel drained or frazzled by it. It's just you're going for what you want. So great time for projects, great time for moving forwards with plans, with ideas, or even with deals, anything you want to go for. It's a great time to, you know, negotiate any bigger deals like if you're purchasing something big or whatever and figure that out it's a good time to do that so yeah it looks awesome very very good week for row two so if you've picked row three we start the week with strength <laughs> it's a quiet strength it's not like a power seeking crazy ego driven strength this is a quiet strength you're feeling confident you're feeling good about yourself you're feeling like you know what you're doing you're on track, you've got what it takes to do what you want to do, so nobody can mess you around early in the week either, you're just quietly confident, you don't need to prove anything to anyone, but you are happy with where you're at and who you are and what you're doing, so that can be at work and relationships, any of those areas, you're just actually in a really good place to quietly keep working forwards, keep going towards your goals, you don't have to explain yourself, you don't have to prove anything, just believe in yourself and keep moving forward. So yeah, that looks fantastic. Midweek, Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. It's busy. You're in a busy place with that. So yeah, you're in a busy place with that and things are looking really, really good for that. So creativity is absolutely top notch. You're in a good place with that it's a good time to get things done if you've got a big project on at work or at home go for it you're really really moving ahead with that and you're going to get it achieved you're going to succeed you're going to get it done so very very good um by friday saturday and sunday we've got the five of swords which doesn't look as pretty we've got somebody who's a bit unbalanced maybe a little bit of on a power trip or something like that so just watch out for people like that that you might run into over the weekend and if you do don't take it on board 
people like this are all about themselves. They're not about you. Whatever they do say or how they act has very little to do with who you are and everything to do with who they are. So your best approach with that is actually to just ignore it. Let it blow past. Let them figure themselves out. And you're going to be on a really, really good good track to get through that but you just be aware of that over the weekend you might run into something like that there's a sense of authority that's not in balance somebody or something going on around you that's not a hundred percent fair or just or on the right wavelength for you so yeah this is saying just be aware of that and don't make it about you don't take it personally don't take it on board your um you're on the right track, this person's got issues or this situation and you don't have to take it personally on board, you're going to be fine. So it'll blow over, let's put it that way. Whatever the situation is in your life, it's going to blow over and it's going to blow over even faster if you just don't react and just let it blow past and yeah, it's going to blow over twice as fast as if you try and do something about it. Let's put it that way, your best action in this situation is no action no reaction okay just it's about them forget about it let them figure it out and keep going forwards towards what you want so yeah for all three they're very very powerful cards that have come up they're all very much in believing in yourself going for your goals you're on the right track don't let anybody put you off have the faith in what you're doing what you want to do and you're going to do absolutely fantastic this week. It's a fantastic week for everyone. Row 3 has that little bit of a weird influence over the weekend. But like I said, it's not going to be something that's going to drag on. You're going to be able to deal with it really quick. Because you've started the whole week out feeling really good, really positive, really strong. So don't take that one on board. And midweek, yeah, you're busy anyway doing what you want to do and working towards your own goals and dreams. And, and that's so important, you know, even for people who have a job they might not love. Keep your own goals in mind, you know, have your own goals, keep working towards them, do your research, do what you can. Actually knowing that you have options is so empowering if you're in a job that you're not that happy in. You know, get out there, have a look around, see what else there is. Um, and yeah, you'll find something and work towards something that's going to work for you. So, but from what I can see here midweek, it's actually a pretty happy situation. So yeah, all three, you're on fantastic paths this week. I hope you have a really wonderful week. Um, lots and lots of love to you. Take care. Please give this a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed it and would like to see more. And I'll see you all next time.